Hello beautiful peoples, welcome to my channel, today we are going to create hologram effect using a light motion, if you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Ok guys, let's start our video. This is my first clip guys, I recorded my screen, while I am using Instagram. First I have to crop the top and bottom section. So, I am going to adding a vector drawing layer. Now I am drawing path around my subject. Now increase this layer duration up to your clip duration. Make a copy of it. Hide it for a moment. Now select these two layers, and tap on this second icon here, which is masking. Drag it down and unhide this layer. Select this layer and go to effects. Tap on add effect. Here search for lines. Add, halftone lines effect to current layer. Change color one color to sky blue color. Decrease angle value up to 0%. Now go to blending and opacity, and blend this layer mode normal to multiply. Now select your clip layer. Go to effects. Tap on add effect. Now tap on color and light. Here select color tune. Add it to current layer. Now here, drag this circle over sky blue color. Repeat this for remaining options. Now select your clip layer, and tap on borders and shadows. Add border to your clip, and adjust the size. Now select all layers, and group them. Now copy this layer. Now import your second clip as a new project. This is my second clip guys, I have downloaded from pexels.com. First I am going to creating a simple scribble animation to the phone. I am adding a vector drawing layer. Now draw outline to the phone. Now go to colors and select no fill. Go to borders and enable stroke. Select any color you like. Now adjust stroke value. Now go to effects. Tap on add effect. Now tap on drawing an edge. Here select drawing process effect. At the first frame of this layer add end keyframe. Now move to 15 frames forward and add another one. Now at this keyframe, decrease end value as I shown in the video. Now smooth these keyframes as shown. Now at this keyframe add start keyframe. Now move to 15 frames forward and add another one. Now here increase start value as I shown in the video. Now trim this layer here. Now we have to track this line. Hide drawing process effect for a moment. Now go to move and transform. First I have to adjust the pivot point position. Now add a move keyframe here. Move 5 frames forward and adjust position. Do same until your last frame. Now we have something like this. Now duplicate this layer. Select second layer and add blur effect to this layer. Now duplicate this layer again. Decrease blur value little much as shown. Now select first layer and change stroke color to white. Now adjust stroke width as shown. Now we have glowing effect to this line. Select all line layers and group them. Rename it as line animation. Now I am going to create one more line animation here.
Now paste your screen capture layer. Adjust the size and position. Now add flip layer effect to this layer. Change angle value according to your clip. I am keeping it here. Let me trim here. Now we will add glow effect to this layer. Change glow color and play with other values if you want. Now I am going to creating a wipe animation to my screen capture layer. Add a rectangular shape. Adjust the shape size, make sure shape should covers the screen capture layer. Keep it here. Now add feather effect to this layer. Adjust feather value as shown. Let me rotate it little much. Now keep it here. Add a move keyframe here. Now move to one second forward and change shape position as shown. Now edit your keyframe curves as shown. Now trim this layer here. Now select these two layers and tap on this third icon here, which is exclusion. Now we have to track. Select these two layers and group them. First I have to change the pivot point position. Now here add a move keyframe. Now move to 5 frames forward and adjust position as I shown in the video. Do same until your last frame. Now we have something like this. Now select this layer and tap on edit group. Select screen capture layer and decrease opacity little much. 
Now come back to the main project. Now duplicate this layer and blend this layer mode normal to screen. Now tap on edit group. Select screen captured layer and increase opacity little much. That's it guys. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Always think creative, have a nice day guys.